Hello there, everybody, and welcome back to Circling Channel Sports on Converge Media. We have the first week of February, which yeah. is, we, we talked about it last week. It, it was a busy week, like we've anticipated. So um, I don't want to mess around and, you know, like tiptoe around all of the stuff we have to go over. So, Belle, let's jump right into Seahawks. All right. Let's do it. So a few team announcements. They have made a couple of changes to the defensive coach roles. So um, former Broncos Ed Donatel will uh, be serving as the senior defensive role. And they have promoted Clint Hurt and named him the new defensive coordinator. We also will dive into the Pro Bowl here. Um, Russell Wilson did participate. He had nine out of 17 completed passes for 77 yards and unfortunately also threw two interceptions and was sacked once. The AFC beat the NFC for the fifth year in a row with a score of 41 to 35. Any thoughts on our additions to our defensive coaches here? On the defensive side of the ball, uh, adding Ed Donatel to the defensive staff in that in that senior role and avoiding making him the actual defensive coordinator, I thought was a good move. I didn't really, you know, Donatel. I mean, you're getting older, you know. It's it's uh, especially if you look at it, the NFL in the current state, you don't necessarily need sort of the older-minded defensive coaches, right? This league adapts year in and year out, and you need to be able to learn how to adapt, right? I mean, after a while, the NFL adapted to the way that the Seahawks played. The Legion of Boom played in 2013, mm -hmm. you know, physical defense in the secondary, right? That right. They implemented those rules, all that kind of stuff. You know, that bump and run coverage, you can't do that anymore, right? So to have somebody that was a little bit older, I thought would have been a mistake uh, potentially. Um, so that's how I feel on Donatelle. Uh, Clint Hurt is an interesting it's an interesting promotion. Um, I mean, he's been with Seattle for a decent amount of time. Um, the D line has had its successes, even despite having potentially, I guess you could say the lack of talent there. Mm -hmm. I mean, you don't go out and necessarily get too many of the big names and free agency. I mean, you trade for Carlos Dunlap a few years ago, but, uh, I don't know. It's, it's tough because, you know, with the way that the, the Seahawks situation has been for the past few years is that you want, to go out and upgrade the best ways that you can with right. the window that Russell Wilson provides you. Am I sure that this is a clear upgrade? No, I don't think it's a clear upgrade right now. Could it work out? Absolutely. It could. Right. I mean, we've seen guys take advantage of the situations that they're put in, but it's kind of like a lot of the moves last year with the Seahawks. It's a big question mark. And a lot of those moves, a lot of those question marks didn't necessarily work out. So, uh, I mean, with that, I know that the team has been looking into speaking with Sean Desai, who is the Bears defensive coordinator, to add him in some role. Uh, I know that he's looking into being a defensive coordinator somewhere else. So I think if you can add all these guys who have talent, you know, working in the defense and you can bring them to your staff, that's good, right? Because yeah. you can have talent up and down the board. Um, but in terms of the actual hires on a tell, adding him in that senior defensive role. Good. You know, from being the Broncos defensive coordinator last year to coming here in a smaller role. Good. You know, why not hurt? I, I can't be for sure. That's a big question mark for me to be continued. <laughs> um, as we move on to our league news here, Tom Brady officially announced his retirement in an Instagram post. A lot of cheer from you over here. <laughs> Despite the fact that I was wrong and I thought he would, Right, <laughs> exactly. Not go out that way. Uh, I'm, I'm happy about it. You know, it's finally over for now, though. I mean, you look at, I don't know. Again, it just doesn't sit with me. It's like, does he is he really oh. done? You know, it's, it's kind of one of those things like, is it really over? You know, is it after all these, again, uh, to age you guys, again, a uh, playing career longer than I've been alive, okay? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Well, he did uh, come a little retire bit of, and then come out of retirement, right? Technically. <laughs> Sort of. Yeah. He was like, oh, I'm not. Well, he said he was a long way off from deciding. And then like a few days later, oh, actually, yes, it's okay. I'm done. I thought that he had dabbled with retirement before joining the Buccaneers as well. There, the thought was there. Okay. But I don't think he was like ready to finally, you know, be like, eh, I'm done. And he is now. Maybe. Yay. We'll see. He stated that he's uh, 
not going to be making that com competitive commitment anymore. Uh, he's loved his NFL career, and now it's time to focus his time and energy on other things that require his attention. And we could all assume that means family and mm. spending more time with them. So as we move on here, uh, Washington has renamed their team. Can you take any guesses? <laughs> they, uh, I don't know if I need to take guesses. I think... <laughs> I, for the longest time, I think it was kind of a split between, like, I think the commander's name's always been there as the name that they, yeah. they officially picked um, after a year and a half, which we'll talk about that. Um, so to just kind of look at the situation with Washington's name, uh, someone brought up a good point with Cleveland, right, and the Guardians. They were able to get that all changed and figured out in the same season. They said, hey, we're going to take away the Cleveland Indians moniker mm -hmm. and we're going to figure something out. And then in the same season, they said, OK, we're going to be the Guardians. Washington, they messed <laughs> around. I know they had that fiasco where they released the potential <laughs> names out to the public <laughs> and then somebody went and trademarked all of those names. Like, yeah, come on, you know, <laughs> you got to be smarter than that. That's why I like with the crack. And I know that they use like offshore accounts and like London and all this stuff to be secretive about the name so nobody would figure it out, you know? So yeah. that organization as a whole is an entire mess. Um, I just hope that they, the fan base is able to get that away from Dan Snyder because he is just a despicable human being in general. Um, but if you're asking me just about the name, the commanders, it's fine. I don't really care. It'll probably grow. <laughs> um, but it's better than what it was is, is, the, is the main point here, yeah. you know? And it doesn't look like there were much changes to the logo overall. I think the W looks the, yeah, the, the W's same, right? fine. Yeah. yeah. So not much change. 